Hello boys, welcome back to the channel, Cautious Maron, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, follow me on Instagram, link in the bio. Um, topic of this video is that I went from video games to martial arts. And uh, I was always a very competitive guy, like, five, six years ago when I started like playing video games online against other people. I used to play a lot of like ranked and I was also like, I played competitive like esports. In, uh, <clears throat> in a couple of games, I was also very competitive, like playing in teams, calling out, trying to get to the top 100. In uh, one game, I was even like top 10 at some point. So, yeah, I was always a very competitive guy and I was always grinding, but I put it into the wrong, into the wrong things as a, as a teenager or as a, as a kid. I put it into video games where other people were leveling up in real life and I think that's the completely wrong way to go and that it destroys lives because we all know that it takes about one that it takes about 10,000 hours to get good in a skill but when you put all that energy all this competitive sense all this energy all this learning all this growing searching up videos on how to get better at a video game you just put it into a video game which is fucking useless instead of putting it into something that you can use in real life of course it's fun or whatever but it fries your dopamine receptors. The only thing that it does is fun. You lose so many other aspects, like social life. You don't go outside, you get socially awkward, you get socially social anxiety. You just sit in front of your screen. You get fucked up posture. You don't exercise enough because you're just sitting in front of your screen playing a video game, trying to level up your character in a video game instead of leveling up in real life. And I went from playing video games to martial arts, which is like the best transition I've ever made. I completely stopped playing video games like three months ago, cut all my online friends out. And now I'm do doing kickboxing twice a week and going to the gym five times. If it if it goes good five times, sometimes three, four times, a bit inconsistent, but better than nothing. To the gym and um, <clears throat> it's like the best change I've ever made. Because I was always, like I said, a very competitive person. Now I can put all this competitiveness into martial arts, into something which will actually benefit me in real life. And I've noticed that I'm already a lot better in martial arts. And I'm doing kickboxing, and kickboxing than uh, I was two months ago. And that just makes me really able to see, and I'm a lot more confident. And I, I know, and I kind of how to defend myself now. And I, uh, I already know a lot more than the average guy in the street. So just use all this competitive sense. It's, it's normal for, for men, for guys to compete, because that's how it has always been. We always chase status, we always chase the next thing, we always chase the upgrade. And we always competed for the woman, for the wealth, for the house. Back even in tribal times, we competed for food. We competed for everything. The fastest and strongest guy got all the woman. The fastest and strongest guy got the food. We always competed. Don't put it into video games. Find a skill in real life that... It's fun to you that you think will benefit you and stick to it for at least a couple of months if, if it's fun or not you're not motivated to train every week like even so like sit a month I like every day when i wake up i'm like oh fuck, kickboxing today and I, and I go anyways because that's what i have to do and after i do it i feel better and i'm glad that i did it and i would feel even worse if i don't go so it's just like you have to push yourself and it's it's like it's a lot harder than just sitting inside and playing video games. That's why it's that's why it's so addictive. You can just put on your screen and be someone that is successful and someone that achieves something and you can beat all the competition. Like it just takes away your competitiveness. When you're beating a thousand guys in, in, in the video game and you, you're like top ten, you feel like a like a fucking like a fucking hero, but in real life you're a fucking pussy. It just takes away those this, this competitive sense. Like you have to put it into the real life, you have to get a top ten kickboxer or whatever in real life or just find another skill something with sports something with sports is great if it's football or tennis or whatever kickboxing martial arts i don't care just find something that you can put you that you can use for your competitive sense that you can use to push yourself that it's like your main goal like your purpose like my my goal right now is that i compete in the german um championship for kickboxing i've been doing kickboxing since two and a half months it's it's a big goal since then. And I have to I have to get four points um, to enter the tournament, to enter the championship in Germany. 
and I get four points um, by uh, winning first, second, or third place. When I win first place, I get two points, so I could win two times first place, and I can enter the <coughs> enter the championship, or I can get a second or third place, and I get one point four times, or one time number one, two times number two. Doesn't matter. I just said I have four points in total. And that is my goal. I want to compete and say I was in the German Championship. And that is a lot better than saying, oh my god, I was. I used to play in a in a, <laughs> a video game and I was like top ten in Paladins or like I'm I'm amazing at this video game. Like I know all the characters and I'm like the best. And uh, it's fucking useless, bro. Let's find a skill <coughs> that you can use a competitive sense with that you can. Upgrade in real life that is valuable for you, that is giving you life lessons, that is giving you confidence, that is upgrading your body. Don't put it into video games like fucking retard that all of these people are doing. If you already if you only do this thing, just like the only thing you do, not playing video games but upgrading yourself in your life. You already heard of a lot of people. Because of, I don't fucking know, ninety percent of the team guys are playing FIFA instead of playing football in real life, or playing Call of Duty instead of going to the army, or playing uh, Tekken instead of martial arts, or Fortnite, and shooting people instead of going out in the real world and competing there. So if you do that, you're already ahead of a lot of people. See you in the next one. And I please turn this off.